Well, welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. It's time now to review headlines on today's newspapers with the Ombudsman of this day and Arise Media Group and This Day Newspaper Limited's Group Executive Director, Mr. Kaede Komalafe. Good morning, Adisa. <laughs> Good morning. Good to see you again. Welcome back, Shane. I've been back for three weeks. <laughs> 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 it's a long time to use in all of our body since last week. It's good, to, we'll have go, yeah, good yeah, to have you. Great to be here. We're going to the review, and of course we start with this day on Sunday. The lead story here says, senior lawyers differ on the uniform national minimum wage, saying Nigeria running a federation. And of course the, uh, the riders insist individual states should negotiate separately. NLC, TUC, TACU governors accuse state chief executives of acting in bad faith. States should sort issues out with labor union, says uh, Mackinde. Uh, and um, there's another story there beside the first, uh, the, the, the picture on top, and that's from the president. Tinubu, we are still retooling financial system to bring relief to Nigerians. Still retooling is the key word there, KK. And on the window, Akpabio, uh, uh, the Senate president, is saying that by completing 650,000 uh, barrier per day refinery, Dangote has shamed Nigerian government. And the writer says ordinary VP's residence could not be completed until after 14 years. Interesting, mm -hmm. isn't it, KK, that... Uh, a governor under another party for eight years, and, and of course, a senator who saw that uh, the VP's building uh, residence was abandoned, uh, etc. Didn't say anything. It's now coming up now to, you know, because he wants to eulogize Dangote. It's now saying that uh, it's a shame on Nigerian government that uh, uh, the Dangote refinery uh, is on stream. I find that rather curious and funny, but those are the key stories um, in today's, this day. Of course, there are two cover pictures, one of uh, the Dangote refinery and the other one uh, with the president and the uh, minister for FCT, Wiki, and the chief of staff to the president delivering on the mandate, as uh, the caption says. Those are the stories, KK. Yeah, the minimum wage is the is the story. Is the story. It's, it's it's practically the story. In, all, in all the papers. In all the papers, on the front page of Daily Trust, yes. on the front page of The Guardian, uh, Tribunal and Order. So that's, that's just that is the issue of the moment. But well, like the, if we take the lead story of um, this, day. this day as the peg you know, uh, uh, for the review, uh, it, the story shows that uh, there is need for a greater clarity of purpose mm. in the discussion of minimum wage because there are a lot of conceptual errors, you know, and misunderstanding of, you know, what it means and how it should be, you know. Let's begin with um, the report in this day of uh, some senior lawyers, mm. you know, saying that this is a federation, uh, minimum wage, you know, should be uh, state issue, you know, and, and every state will uh, negotiate its own, minim uh, its own minimum wage. To start with, the law as it is now, says that minimum wage is in the uh, exclusive list, the exclusive uh, legislative list. So until you amend the constitution and you change it, that is the, that is the position. It's still a federal issue. You only, you, uh, it's, it's the federal government that can legislate on minimum wage. That is what the law is, you know. Without prejudice to the uh, right, you know, or the opinion of anybody who, who thinks otherwise. But even at that, <clears throat> the problem with the suggestion, you know, of uh, those senior lawyers calling for on states to have it is that, you see, in Nigeria, you know, we, you know, talk of uh, true federalism or in, in court, whatever they call it, true federalism, in the way uh, that is convenient, depending on what you are talk, uh, what, what you are talking about. Let's take the example of the United States. In the United States, like the lawyers who are trying to argue to, yes, it is true, both the federal government and the state government will 
uh, and the state government in, in the United States could legislate on minimum wage. But the point to emphasize there mm. is that the employer is bound to pay the higher figure of the two. That is, for instance, now, like, like, currently in the United States, and the, in the, the federal uh, <clears throat> minimum wage, you know, uh, the, uh, the act as provided in the uh, Federal Labor Standard Act (FLSA), under which the legislation for minimum wage comes in in the in the U.S. In the current position, 7.25 dollars uh, is the minimum wage per hour in the in uh, at the, uh, <clears throat> according to the federal law. In in Washington, the figure is actually 16.28 dollars per hour. In which case, the uh, Washington is is uh, I mean is legislating a higher figure for minimum wage than even the federal law. So what, what I'm just trying to say is that you know in the United States that they are making an allusion to the what often happens is that the state even <clears throat> gives a higher figure than the federal law. But we are in Nigeria. The intention is that if you say each state should uh, legislate on it, mm -hmm. now that you are having thirty thousand minimum minimum wage and we should say that it should be reviewed, then perhaps the intention is that if a state decides that it cannot even pay thirty thousand, that it wants to pay. Uh, uh, I mean, it, it wants to put it at 20,000 or even 10,000 because we are in the federation, it should, be, it should be permitted. But I'm saying that that is not the intention. That in, in states where both the federal government and the state government legislate, the employer is bound to pay the higher one. You know? So, which means that if, for instance, Lagos State is paying, uh, I mean, Lagos State you know, has its own uh, minimum wage act, which puts it at 70 naira. You know, and, if, and maybe after this negotiation, mm. the federal government puts it at 90 naira. You know, yeah. the employer is supposed to pay. I mean, uh, the employer is banned by the 90,000, I mean, the 90,000 naira uh, figure, and not that of the of the state. So I'm saying that. So that that call to me is is uh, is a superfluous one. It's, it's, it's meaningless. You know, because the because the, I'm saying that there is a, there is a conceptual error. The purpose of minimum wage act really is to protect the vulnerable. You know. It's supposed to be a social protection instrument, mm. you know, because in reality, I mean, I mean which, which, comes, I mean, which brings me um, to the, the second error in the whole thing, which is, uh, <clears throat> uh, in which case you, you blame both the federal government and labor, you know, and maybe excuse the employer to some extent. The negotiation and the promulgation of the middle wage is supposed to be a noiseless issue. All this noise is unnecessary because there's a statutory body, you know, the National uh, Wages and Salary Review Commission, which is a standing uh, uh, agency, you know, I mean, I mean, it's a standing body, and it is tripartite, you know, according to the International Labor uh, Organization's uh, uh, Convention, in which we have government, labor, and private employers. Uh, and this is supposed to be a routine thing, mm. you know, that is not supposed to bring, you know, all the, the noise that you are having. And in reality, in reality, which credible a corporate organization in Nigeria, I mean, the, the big ones, big mm. brands, you know, is talking of paying 30,000 or 60,000 or, 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 or whatever. So what I'm that it's not even applicable, you know, to most of the uh, companies. So this idea, this bugger, the bugbear, yeah. that if you pay it, uh, companies will close down what, or, or whatever, you know. Let, I mean, uh, let me not advertise, you know, but most of the big companies that we have, yes. in which one, whether in the telecom sector, whether in the oil sector, whether in the bank, who is paying 30,000? Who is paying 60,000? Even if you put it at 100,000, in most of these companies, what the least workers, what, I mean, what they are paying there, it's far from that. Mm. So, so I, mean, I mean, what I'm saying is that, in terms of concept, this the idea, I mean, whatever figure is arrived at, yes. is for the, it was the most vulnerable. Yeah. It's not something exactly. that is uh, uh, applicable. Absolutely. You know? yeah. And then when you now say that, okay, uh, it will discourage investment, industries will close down. The provision is there, that mm. if you are employing uh, f fewer than uh, 25 the workers. Exceptions, the exceptions. Workers, in the, in the you are, you are, you are, you are not supposed yeah. to pay. Yeah, no, exactly. so, and, 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 look, and when you look at the structure yeah. of the economy, these are the, in, I mean, these are the I mean, organizations that are in the, in the, in the majority. Yes. That, I, mean, that, I mean, that are not covered. In fact, in the initial law, you know, in the initial law, uh, I, I remember in the, uh, the 1981 uh, the National Minimum Wage Act, it was even put at 50. Yeah. You no, know, labor even had to negotiate over the years that you know that the I mean it is too elastic that you should reduce it to, uh, uh, to I mean to, to twenty five. So I mean so in, in most cases the noise that is being generated most I mean, most of the organizations are not, are not even 
uh, uh, have been affected by it. You That's know. true. And, but you know that our bourgeois economists, you know, they open the inflation page of their textbook. <laughs> you know, whenever, whenever, whenever you are talking of wages for workers, you know, they you know, should close that page. And the and the and the thing that I mean, you know, people say when labor said, I mean, when labor in, in, in the negotiation, you, you give your offer. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, I mean, that, that is not illegitimate. The labor saying that they want to get sixty and fifty. Absolutely. You know, just as that is not illegitimate for government to say that okay, we even want to we want, want to pay less. Yes. That is the spirit of negotiation. Uh -huh. You know, the art and science of, of, of yeah. negotiation. What I'm saying is that what is even outrageous is that. Mm. You say you are running a constitutional democracy, yeah. a country by a, a rule of law, mm -hmm. and you have some governors saying that you will not pay national minimum wage. Yeah. The implication of that, you know, uh, this one, this will interest you, is that we are talking of that the governors are saying that we will disobey the law. The law. Yes. Because it's a law made in the parliament. Analysis, like any other parliament. You know? Absolutely. So people are saying openly that and, and we will not obey the law, exactly. we will not obey the law, and you are not saying that it's outrageous. You know, for a, a worker to say that this is this, this what I want to get uh, paid, yeah. you know, for, for my labor is what is outrageous. So what the governors are saying is that the law of the land, we, would, we will not obey it. If yes. they can't pay, you know, they and, and should, and they should and, exist. And people, and so that those who can run it better, better can pay. pay. And people are it's saying that as if it's not, you know, that is that yes. we will we, we'll flout the law. Yeah. Then again, one, I mean, one other point is that the minimum wage law is not the only law in the book in which the, the governors comply with. They award all kinds of contracts. Mm -hmm. Building flyovers where there are no, I mean, where yeah. there are no, no, no mm -hmm. nowhere. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in the, the contractors, the business between the governors, I mean, the state government and the contractor is also governed by the law of contract. Is, is it not so? Absolutely. Yes. Now, the, uh, can the governor now say that I will negotiate with the construction company? That you want, you want to pay, but well, because of the state of the economy, because of the, uh, the lack of revenue, that you will not pay the contractor. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and that is it, you know. After after entry into the Brilliant contract, analogy. you know, yeah. and the contractor has gone to work, you know. But well, because uh, uh, look at the uh, revenue base of the yeah. of the state, mm -hmm. and then you tell the contractors, I cannot I cannot pay you. You should understand that, that yes. there is no. Fantastic. But when it comes to yes. the wages of worker, you know, yes. people can recklessly, lawlessly, it's you know, I mean, yes. I mean, I mean, displaying, I mean, lawlessness. Absolutely. I said that. You will not. You will not pay. Me, I mean, you are more than. And you say. And you say. And you say this is the constitutional democracy. Yeah. And, you, and you say you have. I mean, you have. Rule, 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 Fantastic. Rule, but Kiki, oh let's quickly look at the, this, this, this start. Yes, yes. Yeah. Kiki, you just Nature came around us up at the end of uh, at the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's touch on this day style very very quickly. Um, the cover on there we have three fashion designers. It says fashion goes so, uh, goes social. We have a Bukola Owola B, Victoria James, and Florentina Agu, who I believe. Uh, uh, um, are all designers but let's look at the cover notes gone are the days when the journey of fashion stardom solely wound, uh, wound through the runways meticulous networking, attending fashion industry events and securing the favor of magazine editors, instead the digital domain has become the new proving ground for emerging talent I mean we know that um, Arise has always been affiliated with fashion we mm -hmm. do Arise Fashion Week and I've seen um what uh, Konya is doing with this cover is paying homage to the fashion designers that have really stood their ground this year. Uh, Vicky James, who you know makes one of the, who makes probably one of the most expensive dresses to come out of uh, of Nigeria. We have Imagine by Bukola Hetuba's Kaftan, House of Mavi, and also uh, uh, still who, more. Who Vicky among James. them made that uh, lovely skirt for uh, 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 Megan? Oh, Megan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's a different that's brand. A different oh, that's, brand. A, that's, that's a, a very different, different brand. brand. Yeah. But, but I hope that Taladi Shitu Mohamed is watching this. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing the Made in Nigeria. And we want to clarify that we are wearing Made in Nigeria brands. Both of us, brands, both of us. <laughs> <laughs> We are wearing Made in Nigeria brands today. So. That is great. Yes. <laughs> By the Nigeria, I'm Nigeria to grow the Nigeria. <laughs> Sadly, we do not have time for, for all the stories, but KK. Mm. Thank, thank you, you so much, much, as always. Yeah, you know, this is always thank you, you yes. know, and I'm sure that the generality of the Nigerian workers will commend you yes. for today's brilliant analysis. Yes. Thank, thank you, you very much. All right, that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching and do stay safe. Well, I'm Steve Ayoride. Well, thank you for sticking with us. I'm Adesua Giwa Osage. And I'm Sheiton Atigari. For my entire team here in Lagos, Nigeria, enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.